Each autumn, Forestry Tasmania ignites high intensity fires to incinerate the waste material that remains after logging. Not only are these fires releasing vast amounts of carbon into our atmosphere that took centuries to sequester, they are also stressing, damaging and killing retained large trees. We have conducted pre and post fire photogrammetry scans of these trees to clearly demonstrate that fire bad. When it comes to Forestry Tasmania's management of giant and large trees, there are two policies at play. First is the giant tree policy that the tree projects successfully campaigned STT to expand the definition of. The giant tree policy protects giant trees over 85 metres tall, 280 cubic metres in volume, and is now updated to include trees that are four metres in diameter. The second policy is the large tree instruction. Under this policy, large trees are defined as trees over 2.5 metres in diameter, and it guides employees and contractors on the process for retaining large trees where operationally possible. While giant trees are protected with a 100 metre radial buffer, the large tree instruction offers no protective buffer from logging. This results in the retained large trees being logged all the way to the base. Logging the surrounding trees exposes the retained large trees to critical root zone damage by heavy machinery digging its tracks into the deep soil encircling the tree. Logging the surrounding trees also causes a dramatic change in wind loading dynamics. This means the tree experiences wind loading stresses far exceeding what it had previously been exposed to. In addition to these mechanical disturbances is the ridiculous amount of logging waste material that is left behind. When a forest is logged, around 60% of the forest biomass is left on site as waste. This amount of waste is so vast that it forms a thick layer of combustible material that covers the landscape. It is even piled high into massive mounds. The logging waste is then incinerated in high intensity fires lit by helicopters dropping a napalm-like propellant from above. This practice quickly releases devastating amounts of carbon into our atmosphere that took centuries to sequester and can kill or severely damage the retained large trees. Over the long lifetime of these trees, they have been impacted by wind, storms and decay, which can result in the core of the tree being exposed around its base. Younger trees will generally be able to completely grow over and seal off this damage. But this can take a very long time. While the inner core of the tree is exposed, it is at a much higher risk of being killed by a fire because the fire is easily able to enter into that cavity and burn the tree from the inside out. Here, you can see very clearly that the fire was easily able to enter into the core of this tree via this opening. Over the course of days, the fire burnt and smoldered inside the cavity, slowly eating away at it. My estimate is that 50 to 60% of the original supporting wood has been burnt away. 
Not only that, but there are many more openings into the core of the tree, further diminishing its structural integrity. It is very easy to understand that when the inner core of a tree is destroyed like this, the entire weight of the tree is being held up by far less supporting wood. These structurally weakened trees are then exposed to those higher wind loading forces because the forest around them has been logged. This practice by Forestry Tasmania is simply not protecting trees in any way. Recently, in an effort to mitigate this obvious shortcoming, Forestry Tasmania decided to send the machines back into this site. These machines scraped and pushed some of the logging waste material a few metres back from the stem, further impacting the root zone. While we recognise this effort, it is far from a well thought out practice. This piled up ring of waste material surrounding the trees has likely caused a prolonged exposure to excessive radiant heat. Essentially, this has cooked the trees alive. All of this has damaged these large retained trees. These large trees need the protection of their surrounding forest. The practice of broad scale burning of logging waste material simply needs to stop for our trees and for our climate. Or better yet, Tasmania just needs to end native forest logging.